So, we all know that Novak Djokovic currently is staying at the hotel in Melbourne, waiting for his uh, hearing to happen on Monday. And uh, that's happening at 10 a.m. on Monday. But there has been some interesting news over the last couple of hours, and a couple of days, I should say. And I thought we'd put a video to kind of do a massive upset, uh, a massive update. Let's start back in December. Djokovic is on the entry list for the Australian Open. So everyone was like, hey, he's playing the Australian Open. He's entered the tournament. And this is brand new information. He got COVID as well around that same time period in December. Let's start about, let's start talking about day to day in, in January. On the 4th of January, Djokovic made his way to Australia with a medical exemption. He posted on Instagram, I'm coming to Australia. During that time when, it, when Djokovic was on the plane, the Prime Minister of Australia came out and said that he was very, uh, they were gonna be very tough on Djokovic when he got here and he better have his papers ready to go. He better have all the information. Then he arrived at the airport at about midnight on the 5th of January and the border force, the Australian border force, which is a government body, they took him aside and they put him in an interrogation room as they went through all the papers. And after pretty much, I think it was about 10 hours all night being at the airport Djokovic, they separated from his team and then they canceled his visa. And they asked him to leave the country by the end of the day. Then Djokovic appealed the cancellation of his visa. And as soon as that happened, he was sent to a detainment hotel until Monday of 10 a.m. So the case was heard, but it was the verdict was adjourned or the, the appeal was pushed until Monday at 10 a.m. where it was gonna be revealed, which is only in a couple of days time or nearly 24 hours time. So then on the 7th of January, we had two more people who had the same medical exemptions of Djokovic, not uh, get them reversed, including a player, uh, Renata uh, Vorichova, the player, uh, doubles player, who uh, is now in the same hotel as Djokovic. And, also, and another player that, I, another person, I think it, who was an official, uh, but they were asked to leave and they just left voluntarily. They're like, all right, I'll just leave. They're not, they're not in the same hotel, they just went, they just left. By the way, and then also, yesterday we had Tennis Australia, Victorian government and the federal government, three different uh, bodies of uh, people, I guess, uh, pointing fingers saying it was Tennis Australia's fault, the Victorian government's fault. The federal government should have known what to do. And everyone's pointing the finger on who made this mistake because the mistake made was actually that the medical exemption that Djokovic received was having COVID, if you're unvaccinated, having COVID in the last six months, was didn't warrant a medical exemption now who gave the medical exemption who gave the ticket of approval that's where the fingers are being pointed it's been a very crazy situation and then of course today was when we found out that Djokovic uh, got the medical exemption because he had COVID in December that's sort of where we're at the moment Djokovic put a message out on social media saying thanking the fans um, as well so that came out as well today so Djokovic uh, he's still in the hotel but let me know down in the comments below or in the chat what do you think do you think Djokovic is going to play I have, I think he's like a 5% chance at this point. And the appeal I feel is more than just him going about, you know, him going uh, against the, you know, getting his visa canceled. I think it's more about not being deported and not having that on his permanent record.